playing on the beat Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so as you can see, Eunice is sponsoring this video. Hey Eunice, thank you for sponsoring this video and giving me this bomb wig to use, to try, to love because I actually love this color on me, okay? So this is the packaging. Um, it is transparent lace, 24 inches, and it is a highlighted wig, okay? We love highlighted wigs, okay? So we don't have to do it ourselves. We could buy it already ready to go, all right? So um, this wig did come with bleached knots, but the entire lace was not bleached. So I did have to go in and bleach my knots myself, all right? And th that's okay. I'm showing you that the knots is not all fully bleached, but we're going to handle that. I have 30 volume developer and quick blue. I'm going to um, put... You want to do one of one ratio when it comes to bleach and developer, okay? But I was bleaching a lot of stuff this day, so that's the reason why I have so much. And you want to mix it all together until you get a nice, creamy, thick consistency. Um, I usually mix it together, and then I'll let it, like, um, oxidize for maybe a minute or two. Oxidizing means it's just going to get start, it's going to start activating and get fluffy. And that's what you want to want because you don't want it to seep through your lace, all right? So after everything is mixed, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on the lace and let it process for about 15 to 20 minutes. Mind you, you need to watch this because, um, like I said, some of the lace was already bleached. So you don't want to over bleach anything on this lace because if you do, you will run a risk of shedding. So I am going to use purple shampoo to shampoo the wig because it does have highlights in it. So it's just going to help cancel a little bit of the yellowness out. And then I have um, my conditioner and a brush. So I'm going to rinse off all of the bleach that's on this wig, okay? And once I do that, I'm going to apply the purple shampoo and I'm going to just lather it up and let it sit for maybe like, um, I, I think I'll let it sit for maybe like a minute, I, not too long. And then after that, I did go in with the conditioner. I did not use silicone mix. I ran out, but I have to go out to the um, beauty supply to get some more. So it's okay. So I just conditioned it with some um, um, different shampoo, um, um, different conditioner, I'm sorry. And then I just let it sit for about 20 minutes. And then I went ahead and rinsed it out. And then I let it air dry. so the wig was plucked enough for me i didn't want to go in and do too much plucking um i did let it air dry and this is what the wig looked like once it was air air dried and as you can see that purple shampoo knocked a lot of that golden orangey-ish color out of this wig and it made it a little bit light and a kind of cool and i love this color right here so um i'm gonna go ahead and do my install with my red by kiss adhesive spray this is a temporary spray it usually lasts for like maybe three days for me um i do have to go in and do touch-ups when i do use this product um, this is not glue because if you wet it or if you sweat, this will come off. So if you are a sweater, then I would not suggest this product for you. Um, but when it comes to me and switching my wigs on a daily basis, because I am a content creator, I do like to utilize this product because it just makes life so much easier. Okay. And especially if you just like a person that just likes to switch their wigs or if you're just not comfortable 
with glue then i would definitely highly suggest this product and i will leave it down below in the description box for you So let's go ahead and cut off some lace. Um, this is pretty easy. I'm just going to cut right at the hairline. I am pulling the lace a little bit so if I, I can have a jagged edge. You do not want a perfectly straight edge because you will be able to see your lace really well. And, and you want to camouflage it as best as you can. So you want to make sure that you pull it a little bit. Not too hard to where your lace is going to tear, but a little bit to where... Like I said, it's not going to be a, a straight line, all right? And any lace that's lifting up, you just take the same spray, spray it a little bit, and then blow dry it down, and then it'll lay right on down for you. So y'all know I like my Ruby Kisses. I'm in a shade 16. This is the closest makeup that I have that's closest to my color. They have a warm side and a neutral side. Um, and I usually mix the colors to get the, the perfect color for me um, when it comes to, um, you know, using makeup. I'd rather use makeup to put on my lace than lace tint because lace tint is harder to remove if you have a mistake or choose the wrong color. So if you could easily pick out your makeup color, then you will easily figure out a good color for your lace. <laughs> So right here, I was going to the grocery store with my, you know, my little bae, my little boo. He was taking me grocery shopping. This is Valentine's Day. So I really didn't need to be super dressed up or anything. We were just spending time with each other. But I needed to make sure that my hair was done because I seen him the day before and I was in my bonnet and I went to Chipotle <laughs> and he was kind of upset. Well, he wasn't upset. He thought it was funny that I walked out the house with a bonnet on and I'm like, boy, I didn't care. I was in and out. But so I just wanted to make sure that my hair was at least somewhat done or put on. And I actually liked the messy look on me. And so I ended up doing a half up, half down while I did the grocery shopping with him. And yes, I thought it was, I thought it was cute, a little cutie pie. So I know my makeup is done right now, but it's really late and I wanna lay down. So we're gonna stop this video right here. And I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning, fresh face, gonna do my makeup again. And then we're gonna flat iron this hair. So I am going to wrap my hair up. Good morning. Okay, so let's figure out what we're gonna do with this hair. So this is what my hairline is looking like. It is not bad, it's not bad. I need to take this stocking cap off under here. I had it on too long. So I just went in and did a light uh, a flat iron, just something real simple. Nothing like too flat because it was gonna be hard for me to get it flat. I really don't like to flat iron my head while my hair is on because I feel like I could get a better job done when it's on the mannequin head. I could just get that thing silky and flowy. You feel me like that? So I'm just going in and just flat ironing this hair, and that's about it, you guys. This is the ending of this video. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day, and if you didn't, you know, y'all my Valentine's. You feel me? Every year because y'all just so special to me. But, yeah, um... Everything that I used in this video will definitely be linked down below in the description box for you guys, okay? Just always make sure to look down there. Let me know down below some types of videos other than hair videos y'all would like to see because, like, at this point, it's getting repetitive. Like, you feel me? So, 
let me know down below which i want to see and then i'll get on it trying trying to figure out some you know new content okay for i'm back i have to do my makeup <laughs> and um yeah i love this wig I, anything black with like highlights instead of the wig being brown with highlights i'm going to want the black with highlights because it just does something for me it's not like a weird brown color no nothing like i just love this and i went actually light on the baby hairs because you know usually i'll go heavy like with the baby hairs but this time i did light and i and I'm here for it. Now usually I will flat iron my wigs on the mannequin head because I could get a better flat iron, like a flat, a flat, flat iron. Um, but this time I just did it on my head and I'm not mad at it whatsoever. I do like the placements of the highlights where they do have them and I'm just, I just love this wig. I would want this wig in like 32 inches. Um, Yes, and I would appreciate this if it was a little bit fuller, but what do you guys think? Would you guys wear this? Because she's she's giving, she's giving to me, and I had to put my makeup back on because I had it on last night, but my but I just did not feel like flat iron hair last night because I came back late for some, from some Valentine's Day stuff, so. Yeah, this is the day after Valentine's. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's because I did, okay? Anyway, um, I'm about to just show you guys the hair, everything, um, that I used in this video will be linked down below in the description box for you guys, okay?